testimony will come to you in pieces as parts of the whole truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ are confirmed. For instance, as you read and ponder the Book of Mormon, verses you have read before will appear new to you and bring new ideas. Your testimony will grow in breadth and in depth as the Holy Ghost confirms that they are true. Your living testimony will expand as you study, pray, and ponder in the scriptures. The best description for me of how to gain and keep this living testimony has already been referred to. It is in the 32nd chapter of Alma in the Book of Mormon. You may have read it many times. I find new light in it every time I read it. Let's review the lesson it teaches once again tonight. We are taught in those inspired passages to begin our quest for testimony with a particle of faith and with desire for it to grow. Tonight you have felt faith and that desire as you listen to stirring talks of the Savior's kindness, His honesty, and of the purity His commandments and the Atonement made possible for us. So a seed of faith is already planted in your heart. You may even have felt some of the expansion of your heart promised in Alma. I did. But like a growing plant, it must be nurtured or it will wither. Frequent and heartfelt prayers of faith are crucial and needed nutrients. Obedience to the truth you have received will keep the testimony alive and strengthen it. Obedience to the commandments is part of the nourishment you must provide for your testimony. You remember the promise of the Savior, quote, If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself, close quote. That has worked for me as it will for you.